Okay, on to our second example of how to parameterize a curve in 3D. And of course, we remember that a curve in 3D can only be defined parametrically, but it can be described as the intersection of two surfaces. And that in the end, we need one parameter, and because we're in 3D, we need three components. Okay, now we want to make sure that we're not doing the easiest possible problems. So our example is to parameterize the curve that is the intersection of the paraboloid y equals x squared plus z squared and the plane z equal to y over 2. And remember that our first thing was to look for two explicitly defined surfaces, z equal to f of xy and z equal to g of xy. Problem number one, we cannot solve this explicitly for z. Let's write that as our problem. Our problem is that we don't have explicit surfaces in Z. So what's our response here? Can we find them explicit in X or in Y? Move to a different variable is the idea. And the answer is yes. Which variable? Y. Y is given explicitly here, X squared plus Z squared. And I can solve for here, Y equals how much? Two times Z. So we're going to use y. So we would have y equals x squared plus z squared and y equals 2z. So if you can't do it in z, see if you can do it in x or in y. So what was our plan once we had explicits? We were supposed to set them equal to each other and solve for one of the variables, and, but we had this little caveat, if possible. So let's go back up here and set them equal. What do we get? x squared plus z squared equals 2z. Not possible. These are implicit in both x and z. So now we've come to problem number two. In this equation here, we cannot solve for either variable. So what's our response now? Is this a curve I know? Is this a curve I know? I can't solve it, can't get explicit, but is it something I know of? And the answer here is yes. What is this curve right here? It's a circle. It's a circle in X and Z, right? What do we do? We complete the square, so that means we group the things. X squared is all by itself. And then plus a Z squared minus 2Z equals 0. We complete the square, so this one's already completed, no problem, plus z, we need half of that, minus 1, squared, and then we've added that one, so we need to add it on the other side. So this is our circle in its proper form for parametrization. We know how to parametrize a circle. So we just have to remember x and z. We have p equals how much on x? The center is at 0. We have q equals how much on z? 1, and we have the radius of the circle is the square root of 1 equal to 1. Remember what we do. We're going to parameterize x and z, and then we look for the easiest one on y and use that for y. So we're ready with our parametrization. So let's write down our parametrization. S of t equals three components. And remember, we're doing x and z over here. So x equals, we need the radius times cosine of t plus p, which was how much? 0. Now we go down to z here. We need the radius sine of t plus q, which is 1. So those are the first two things. Now we look for the one that we took out in the beginning, which is y. We find our easiest equation, which is this one right here, y equals 2z, and we say y equals 2 times z. z is sine of t plus 1. And in fact, we are completely done because we were not given any other restrictions here. We must have the whole circle so, in fact, we have been given the interval from 0 to 2 pi. 
it wasn't that hard. We just had to say to ourselves, can't do it in Z, can we do it in X or Y? Can't solve for a variable, can't get an explicit. Is it a curve I know? Yep, it's a circle. So here is our parametrization of the intersection of the paraboloid and the plane. Let's go check it. So here we are in SAGE with our standard plot data for two explicitly defined surfaces, Z1 and Z2. The trouble is that none of these programs will do anything except explicit in Z. So we're going to have to erase this part and say, not explicit in Z, so we must use implicit plots. So down here, we're going to have to add implicit and below that, implicit. And that also means we have to add a Z range. Instead of Z1, we have Y and always use double equals, X squared plus Z squared and we'll add the range in a minute. And down here, we're gonna use the original, which was z double equal to y over two. Just in case we made a mistake, we're gonna use the original. Let's add a z range, and then we're ready to try it. We might need to change our maxes and minimums later. So here we are ready to try our evaluation. Scroll down, evaluate. And we can see that we're not quite getting enough. We've been cut off here from our circle and we didn't really need all this. That's the part that says uh, blue is Y. So we only need Y greater than let's say minus one and we need to make it go a little bit farther that way. So let's change our Y range and see what we get. So here we've changed our Y range from minus one to five. Let's evaluate and see what we get. Oh, there we can see everything. So the Yellow and purple, remember, are our big ones. The yellow is the paraboloid, and you can see it going out along the y-axis. So it's a line down paraboloid. And here's our plane, z equal to y over two. We can see that the intersection is this circle. It looks like an ellipse, but that's just because the aspect ratio is bad. So let's turn it around so we can see it a little bit more. There is our distorted circle. And now what we want to see is if we put in our parametric equation, whether we get this circle right here, this curve right here. So here's our parametric curve. It was So here's cosine of t for x. Here's sine of t plus 1 for z. And then 2 times that for y. And we went from 0 to 2 pi. We're ready to plot everything. Oh man, that is butyrous. Look at that curve right there exactly on our intersection. So we are done with that. So we just want to remember that when you get stuck in one, try to move just a little bit off. It wasn't explicit in Z. Can we move it to X or Y? Yes, good job, do that. We couldn't solve it explicitly for one of those variables. Could we see what it was? Yes. Start from the basic methods and adapt as you need to.